Burkina Faso president, Ibrahim Tauri, has been seen as an inspirational leader for young African leaders. As the senior the military president, take Burkina Faso from an unproductive state to now a productive state. It is what you have know that in September 2022, the young 36-year-old Ibrahim Tauri took over the reign of Afel in Burkina Faso. He was supposed to step down in July 2024 as the military leader of the country. But then the event took another shape when the youth, the old, the young, took to the capital of Burkina Faso to protest and demand an extension for at least five years in office. The transition committee, of which after the national convention being held on Saturday, now gave an extension of five years to Ibrahim Tarwe of which, upon the expiration of these five years, he will be able to run as a democratic elected president of Burkina Faso. But then, let's talk about democracy in Africa. It has been seen by many as a tool by the West to impoverish Africa. And not just impoverishing Africa alone, but to put in place whoever they feel or deem fit to be in power in order for them to explore and remove all resources in Africa for the development of the West. But then, they keep on talking about human rights abuses when military officers take over reign of power in most African states, especially some of that can be seen in Nigeria, in Burkina Faso currently, in Mali and Niger. And they can continue to say that they need to step down and hand over power to a democratic elected president. But when you turn your satellite back to Nigeria, whom they see as the most populous black nation on earth and the giant of Africa, with the last one year as a democratic elected president in Nigeria, we have seen over 13 journalists being arrested on unjustly in Nigeria. We have seen people being assaulted under a democratic watch and we have seen that even in Europe we have seen that in many West African countries and we have seen that across the whole world well even in democratic elected government continue to abuse his office as well as abuse the right of its citizens so when you talk about human rights abuse and all of that it is not thing of the, the military government alone even the former president of Nigeria Olusoko Obasanjo once said that the democracy that we accepted from the West have not do us any good at all. But many may say, but you benefited out of this. Yes, but you could have changed it. Oh, another matter to debate upon. But then, when looking at this carefully, from my own point of view, I always maintain that yes, democracy may be one of the best form of government, but let's not forget that every country of the world have what suits them. Let's look at Russia, for example. Russia has been seen as one of these countries that most of the Western world don't really see them as a democratic uh, uh, state. But then, you can see that there is a rapid development in that state. Haven't been that Vladimir uh, uh, Putin has been in power for more than 10 years now. But then, what did he bring to the table? That is the thing. If the development and all of that, then why not you allow them to be? What happened in China? Are they practicing the same thing that the United States of the uh, United States of America are practicing? Is UK doing the same? These are the things that we need to look at. What we actually need to look at carefully is the development of those nations of the world. If they are developing their nation and making judicious use of their resources, then any form of government that didn't fit for the country and is being accepted by the people should be embraced. We say democracy is the government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And if that is it, and then the people of Burkina Faso are saying that we are comfortable with Ibrahim Tauri as our president, then that is government of the people, by the people, for the people. So it is a military democratic practices or would have call it a democratic military regime in Burkina Faso because the people love the government and that is what democracy talks about and the dividends of democracy that people in Nigeria, Ghana and some of those West African countries that practice democracy is being given to the people of Burkina Faso by a military government of which when they have a democratic elected president they were not, I, I know 
having all these dividends of democracy. So why saying that he should hand over power is a very big question. Having seen that some of those nations has been exploited over the years, they don't have uh, mining of gold, uh, they don't have a, 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 a refinery mining their resources, but then they keep exploring them and taking them to France and other uh, nations of the world. But then, now that they have military government in place, they are now, you know, producing and they are mining some of those their resources within their state, creating employment and supporting agriculture. Like we brought to you in one of our videos where we talk about how you bought over 400 tractors for the cultivation of their land in order to produce for its people and export to northern countries. But when you come to Nigeria, all we see is, uh, you know, sponsoring of Hajj, sponsoring of people going to Jerusalem, you know, buying SUVs and all of that. When those money can be used judicially, judiciously, when we see that our state as of today, we are suffering from high inflation rate when it comes to food and other resources. What do you make of this? Let's have a conversation at the comment section. Thank you for watching.